Hey guys, welcome back to the video. It's Wadabak here and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys some tips and tricks on how to make aesthetically pleasing outfits in Royal High. But before we get into this video, I just want to say thank you guys so much for all the support. Lately, I have been getting quite a bit and I know I basically see this every video, but every day I come back, there's like more of you and that makes me so, so happy. And yeah, I just want to say thank you guys so much. Like I love you all and I'm always here if you need to talk. I just wanted to say that. Um, but yeah, um, I promise I'm nice, don't be scared of me. <laughs> but anyways, let's get into this video. Also, thank you so much. I want to go check my views and they're, um, it's 10k plus. What? Like, you guys are absolutely insane. I love you guys so much. You guys have no idea how grateful I am for every single one of you, okay? Every single one of you are important to me. But anyways, um, also a disclaimer. This video is not to bash anyone's aesthetics. I don't know how you guys would say it, but it's purely just for fun. And it's just me to give you guys some outfit tips. If you don't like to copy outfits, like you want to make original ones, but they don't look good. This is just how to make it more aesthetic, I guess. I mean, also, if you don't like my style, um, this is usually, um, this is really based around how I wear. And what I started to notice in my outfits in this like reoccurring thing. So, um yeah anyways um let's get started and so my first tip i have is wearing neutral colors okay let me tell you you have no idea how many times i've entered me um and i see very bright colors obviously maybe you have a different aesthetic for me but my aesthetic is very bright um not bright more pastel now some people have like some very bright color like this i personally do not think that's too cute you look like um christmas and that is not the goal i go for and also make sure the colors match because you know this is not matching right now and that's not looking too cute maybe you like it but personally i would not go out wearing that i personally don't think it's too cute um and yeah that's what i mean by wearing neutral colors and so just like basically i usually match my outfits with like a white then i put like a pastel color or just to kind of bluish like something like that like this blue i go to that blue for a lot and it just looks nice and if i just make everything match like paint all and then wow it all matches and it's all cute you know what i mean so that's what i mean by neutral colors so my next tip is wearing plain items and obviously all the items here are beautiful and i love every single one of them but some of them are just not meant for literally everything for example let me find one that doesn't really go with a lot of things um like this rain i know this is mostly for trolls but obviously this is not going to go with a lot of outfits um because it's just you know you can't color it and also it's not very plain and also these rainbow armlets, even though they are very cute, they aren't going to go with a lot of outfits because, you know, you can't really change the colors and they aren't really plain. Like, you want it to go. And hmm, let me, there's not, like, a lot of outfits. There's not a lot of items. Like, you just have to match them well with other items. Like, make sure that items match. And, say, and like, also these, I mean, I don't really see people wear them a lot. They are cute, but they just don't really go. Like, make sure... And that falls into my next one. My next, um, what am I trying to say? My next tip is make sure items don't clash. For example, you do not want to be wearing, like, these spinning web boppers and, you know, because look, these two items clash. Like, it does not look that great. And then also, like, if I put on a ghost, look, everything's, like, literally mixed together and you cannot tell what I'm wearing underneath. And obviously this out, this is, like, great for, like, alone because camo ghost, but it just does not really look great together. And so it's better to just kind of pick one item that goes on each area of your body. For example, one area, one item that goes on the torso, one item that goes, like, as a skirt, 
one item that goes on, on the legs, and one item that goes on the wrist, and one item that goes on the head. That's kind of my way of thinking. Try not to make too many items go in one area of your body because then they just clash together and it does not look that nice. And that that's just, you know. And items when they clash together are not too cute, you know? So it's best just to have one item, like that's my rule of thumb, one item on each area of the body. That's, yeah, that's my rule. And so the next tip also kind of falls into this and it is don't have a billion accessories on, okay? I'm not going to go into the catalog and be like, okay, let's wear this. Mm -hmm. This one, okay, yeah, done coloring. Okay, we're just going to go. Why are they not letting me wear this stuff? Okay, let's wear this and then also hmm, let me wear this. Oh, yeah, and this. Yes, and this and this. Hmm, and I want to wear this too. And um, yeah, let me just put this on. And oh, also this bubble gum. Oh, also don't let me not forget this. Oh, let me let me add this. Like, um, sister is not looking too good over here. Like, look at like what's what's happening. This is not that cute. You know, if I see this in a real high game, I'm probably gonna be like, um, what is she wearing? Like, what is um, what is that? And so, yeah, that's what I'm saying. One item per area of your body. Do not go and put on every single item in the catalog because you think it looks cute. Because let me tell you, half the time it's probably not going to be cute. You know, unless you just <laughs> are really able to pull it off, which, um, yeah, if you are able to pull it off, good luck. <laughs> but that's kind of what I mean with those. Once again, items don't clash and don't wear brilliant accessories. Um, the next tip I have is wear simple hair. I think, I don't think a lot of people know this, but hair can really pull an outfit together. For example, this hair, it's kind of is in like the ears, but also it's not probably this. Yeah, this would not be that cute because the ears are off the head, like they're off the hair. So you need to make sure that the hair reaches your accessories and it looks normal because this is not too cute to me and it's not too aesthetically pleasing you know that's the goal here try to be aesthetic and this is not too aesthetically pleasing for me so and also like here where's like an there is a hair that has like a lot going on this hair this hair has quite a bit going on and it doesn't really yeah, it's just kind of big, so that's why I say by trying to pick a simple hair, try to pick one that's more tamed or something, um, because it doesn't that doesn't really go with a lot. Obviously, you can still make it work, but it's gonna be very hard because you, know, you kind of want to get more of a simple hairstyle. For example, one that I always go for is here. Let's see. The Daydream Pigtails, I wear this a lot because it literally goes with everything. Also, it's very easy to cut out when I'm making green screen thumbnails. But that is besides the point. <laughs> um, yeah, because it's just very simple. There's not a lot going on. And it does not clash with the hair accessories or anything. And it just goes well. Okay, my next and final tip is wearing simple faces, okay? All the faces here are beautiful. However, they're not going to go with everything. Sometimes faces just don't go with your outfit and that is totally fine. So also make sure the face matches the color scheme. But if you really aren't looking, like if you just want a face that you use all all the time, like these, you kind of just have to match it with your outfit and hope that it goes, like hope there's a face that goes with your outfit, like a color or something. Like for example, like a blue face, like this one or this one. Like you know, usually some people like to color coordinate and stuff. But for me, I just go to style and then click natural. And these faces, they don't really have a lot of makeup. So they're very simple and they basically can go with everything. And a face that I do go for a lot is this Black Eyes F by Laps Nut G. This face literally goes with everything. I wear this with like a lot. With Yeah, I wear this with a lot of outfits because it just goes it's simple and it's not like there's a color that's very oops sorry microphone it's not there's, there's not a color that's very protruding that just you know that you can notice a lot 
it's very simple and that's what i like about it also this number five anime collection version two um that i'm just saying it <laughs> but this face does go with blah i see definitely a lot of people wearing that in game because it is very simple it does go with everything and it's just you know all rounder a uh, very cute face and yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video um i hope these tips do help with you making outfits and if you do make some outfits um like tag me on twitter or instagram and show me the outfits i want to see and yes my socials are down in the description below but this video has definitely been a longer one i hope you guys enjoy that but yeah i really did enjoy make this video make sure to like this video if you enjoy this type of content subscribe to see more and also turn on my post notifications to see when i post which is daily and also comment down below any video ideas that you want me to make and yeah with that i'll see you guys next time have an awesome day goodbye